I'm Karen. So I'm curious, how many of you know what you want to be? Okay, for those that do, whoop, for those that do, that's great. And for those that don't, don't worry about it. I think that that is one of the most difficult questions. Um, when I remember someone asking me what I, did I want to be, I felt like, how can I answer that? I don't have all the information yet. And it also felt really scary to me because I felt like somebody wanted to stick me in this box and they were going to make me be this one thing for my entire life. So it was much easier for me just to think about what I like to do. And I like to play and draw and, you know, come up with fun ideas. So I went to school and got a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. And after college, I went to look for a job, and I made a mistake a lot of people do, is they think about the money first instead of what they really want to do. And so I actually applied for, you know, as a, at a bank, and at the end of the interview, the woman looked at me and said, you're qualified, but I'm not going to hire you. And I thought, what did I do? And she said, either you're going to leave right away, or you're going to stay, and you're just going to be miserable, because this isn't what you like to do. And she did me a great favor that day, because the same day I was hired at a coupon corporation, and it didn't pay very much, I actually waitress at night, just to be able to work that job. But I got a lot of experience in print and design work, and that led to a job in an ad agency, and then with the government, and then NASA. So. I wouldn't worry too much about what you're going to be. Think about what it is you like to do, and then get really good at that. And find a job that relates in some way to what it is you like to do. And if you're in a job already and it's not related to what you like to do, find a way to pull your passion into your work, because you can do that. So I started at NASA as a graphic artist, and now I lead a center for creativity, collaboration, and innovation. And we're helping NASA to make sure that their environment is one where ideas and creativity can thrive so that we have more innovation. And if I think about it, the position that I have right now and the center that I oversee, it didn't even exist when I graduated from college. And I've been through a lot of jobs over my lifetime, and Things have really evolved, and I think that something similar is going to happen to you. So again, don't worry about what it is that you want to be. Think about what it is that you really like to do and get really good at it. And then the key is be part of something that matters. For me, I feel extremely blessed. I love my job, and I love what I get to do. I see NASA helping with the economy, people without their jobs by transferring technology. And I see NASA helping and fighting to save our planet. And I see NASA building our future. So to me, personally, NASA, it's, it's about hope. And to be a part of something is that powerful and that positive, it's just almost overwhelming. I, I really couldn't ask for anything more. So do what you love. 
and get really good at it. And trust. Trust that it's going to take you where you need to go. Then put it to work somewhere that matters. Thank you.